Well, I'm delighted today to be speaking to Lindy Smith from LVS Ascot. Welcome, Lindy. Thank you for having me. So we're here on a lovely sunny day in Jersey. It um, is. It's quite sunny. It's gorgeous. I had the pleasure to speak with your colleague, Christine, down in South Africa at, at the end of last year. Um, but it'd be great to talk a little bit today about LVS Ascot and the type of families and children uh, that you work with there. So for those who didn't catch the interview with Christine, perhaps you could Give us a pen portrait of the school and what it's like. Of course. Um, so we are a co-educational day and boarding school uh, down in the heart of Ascot in Berkshire. Mm. So it's so a really lovely area. Um, not the city, but also not the country. So yeah. really easy to get to. Um, and we're from the ages of four to 18. And we offer the boarding program from um, year seven. So from the age of 11. Um, GCSE and A-level program, mm. as well as some BTEC subjects. So quite a variety of subjects to have. 26 acre site, 20 minutes from Heathrow, yeah. and just under an hour away from London. So easy, easy to get to. So 26 acres. So to pick, so to picture that is that that's then multiple sports pitches. It's the swimming pool, the gym. I mean, what, what's the sort of absolutely? So everything on site. Four boarding houses. Um, so two, two girls' houses and two boys' houses. But 25 meter indoor pool amazing pool facilities and a 250 seater theater full working theater so um, lots of productions and things happen in our theater and amazing sports facilities as well so we end up hosting quite a number of of sporting competitions because we're so easy to get to for some of the london schools um, and then we have the grounds and the facilities for it fantastic and a student population from around the world is there any particular locations or countries people come from yeah, or? so predominantly yeah. we are still um, a, a british school but we have 27 different nationalities who attend the school mm. and over the years that has evolved into so many more different nationalities um, and then we have a boarding capacity of 180 students so okay. again a large number of international day students more and more families coming over to the uk as a family mm. and looking for a space for for their children especially if you've got um, more than one child and one in, in junior school and one in senior it's a nice place to be so that they can cover all of those aspects with the whole family so not just sending children over to be educated as it were often part of actually an international relocation yes so, yeah. so you're seeing more of that now and, and particularly I suppose coming out of the pandemic families mm. are, are being posted again to um, to do work for a couple of years and, and things like that and so they'd like to have somewhere where it's a family community which Ascot very much is and and loads of um, um, good property and everything around the area and so then they can send their children to the day school with us and and our international families looking for the British style of education, do you think? I mean, what do you think they're looking for from you? Or is it actually it's more international that UK is convenient or it's part of a move? What, what, what do you think, I think in the brand a, of the yeah, UK education? I think education, it's a like? variety of those yeah. things. But we do find with a lot of our international families, it is to come and get the British boarding school experience. They want mm. their children to, to have that international experience, to go away from home, especially if um, for some of them, if English is not their first language, to have that experience with other English speaking students mm. and integrate really nicely. We all always get asked that from a lot of our international families how many English how do we mix them up in the boarding houses so they get that feel and really pick up the language so it's not just international kids all together in an enclave as it were they've got it's got not to be that all. interaction not to get at all the and that's always yeah. my favorite thing to stress when families do speak to us and ask that question is is um, we have that British feel we are you know predominantly that British school and it's getting everybody to come and have that English schooling experience. And, and where do students go on to from the school then? What's the sort of destination that they might go um, to? It's very varied yeah. um, uh, because they have the opportunities to return back home if they mm. wanted to. Um, some of them only come for you know the GCSE or the A-level programme or they stay for the full four years. We have so many that come for a term to come and give it a try and love it so much that they end up staying, which is mm. always great because we'd like to see them complete that journey. But they will go on to either UK universities, um, American universities, or return home to, to mm. West Africa, South Africa, um, wherever, particularly those countries picking up now. Um, and they will they will return home and go to their local universities. Uh, and in terms of the preparation, I mean, you mentioned those coming where they're studying outside the system and they're coming relatively late on to perhaps do their A-levels. I mean, how, how do you make sure that 
the transition into the schools of success, the preparation that goes on? We have such a variety of subjects on offer and we really work on each individual child's case to see what suits them, what suits their personality, what's their passion, what Mm. do they want to go on and do and make sure that we tailor their their timetable towards what they actually want to go on and do. Um, We also have a buddy system, so we do um, give everybody a buddy when they come to us. Um, And again, because we have an intake straight throughout the year, so at any point you can join us at LVS Ascot, um, that makes sure that everybody is used to that progression. And a lot of our students know that that's how it works and are Mm. quite used to people coming in and out, as well as our staff. So uh, September must be still like psychologically an important joining point, but also January. I mean, what what are some of the sort of windows? So it is the windows because a lot of the international schools uh, or international families work on a different um, uh, term time program where they are from. So again, South African schools will work on January. So will your Argentinian schools, your Brazilian schools, Mexico. So they tend to come over at that time. Um, Easter. Uh, used to not be very busy and now mm. Easter has picked up as well so yeah. it tends to be constant in the office really um, it's a bit Wall Street Keep, yeah it keeps it vibrant <laughs> yeah, it uh, yeah keeps no. it vibrant keeps going and um, what how would you position the school against if people are looking at a range of options which they usually are um, how do you position like what you do really well or what's sort of more unique about the offering? Um, I always find it very interesting when people come and talk to us or they give us a call and they say we heard you are the school for this or we heard Mm. you are the school for that. I hear it regularly. Sometimes we're the school for sports, sometimes we're the school for performing arts, sometimes we're the school for academics. I think we provide a very well-rounded and balanced approach to all of those subjects. So um, I I would always say to the families, come in to LVS Ascot and come and try everything. There is so much opportunity. Over 98 co-curricular clubs run every term. Um, Every sport you could possibly think of is on on offer. Four productions a year in terms of performing arts. Um, Still running a variety of of interesting subjects at BTEC, A-level or GCSE. And so it really is, if you you want a school where you can have, live out your talents whilst um, um, giving the time to your academics, it'll be the place to be. Fantastic. And we were, we were just talking earlier about the number, the South African population in Jersey, particularly in the professional yeah. um, community. I mean, you're here today at the networking event we're doing tonight. I mean, are you hopeful to try and build new links to professionals here in markets you're active and, and, and working in, but also Absolutely. the broader professional community here in Jersey? Absolutely. Yeah. Because there's so much, so much has picked up again. Um, in terms of people traveling mm. um, hugely now more than ever before. And so it'll be really lovely to get to know new people, new families and, and let them know what we have on offer. Fantastic. Well, look, Wendy, great to talk to you today. Look forward to seeing you tonight at the dinner. Super. Thank you so much. The latest technical content delivered through global conversations with professionals for professionals.